everyone. Thank you for joining me today with Tootsie Cooking in the Kitchen. Right now you would see a pot that I have and I have four tablespoons of olive oil in it because I am going to show you how to fix stewed fish. Now you will put your olive oil in, let that get hot, and you would add your onions, celery, and make sure chopped onions and celery make sure they're chopped okay and you will add all that in there all right and you would add you can use either garlic cloves or you can use the chopped garlic like I have Okay, like two tablespoons of garlic or however much you to your liking. If you're a real garlic person, then you add more. It's up to you. Now the fish that I'm using is salmon and flounder. Use whatever type of fish that is your preference. Okay, I'm using um Salmon and flounder because that's my favorite. Okay, that's my favorite fish. Now what you would do with this is let this cook for about four to five minutes and then we will go on to the next step. Now that that's cooking and got that on a good simmer, you add your mushrooms. You can use fresh mushrooms or uh, canned mushrooms. I'm using canned mushrooms today because I had some canned mushrooms around the house. So they're just as good and I love these mushrooms. So, and then you let that finish cooking. Okay, five minutes has gone by. Now you would add a half a cup of parsley. It's either fresh parsley or dry parsley. It really doesn't matter. Add a can of tomatoes, it can be stewed tomatoes, chopped tomatoes, that doesn't matter either. And some tomato paste. And you stir that up. And you let this go, you let this cook for about five to six minutes. Now the next step is you add a jar of clam juice. I add my own, this is my own chicken stock. So you can get a, um, a can of chicken stock or a carton what comes in the carton. Add that in there. Now I want a little spice, a little pump to it, so I add some hot sauce. Mix all that together. And let that go for like five minutes and while everything has incorporated together and come to a good, a nice simmer. Okay, now as you can see here, I have my flounder and I have my salmon. What I did was I got a piece of block of cedar and I seasoned my, sal my, my salmon and I let it marinate overnight on top of this block of cedar. You don't have to do that, but that's just an extra to give the to give the stew a little bit more um, of a of a pop. And here you see I have my potatoes. I already peeled them. And they're the red potatoes. I peeled them, and I'll just add those in. And I'll add my salmon in first. And at this point, you add all the rest of the meat. And then just let this cook. And 
Add your potatoes. Add a little oregano. Not a lot, just a little. And I'm going to stir this up and just let it cook. And when your fish is done and your stew will begin to thicken, so it won't be as uh, runny as this. It's not a soup, it's a stew. And as it cooks more, it will, it will begin to thicken. Hi everyone. Everything is all done. Potatoes, my fish, and look at the juices. Okay, and I let it cook for maybe like um, a good half hour. I didn't want my fish to begin to, you know, completely um, tear apart. You still want to be able to have, you know, some of the chunks of the fish. I want to thank everyone for joining me today with Tootsie Cooking in the Kitchen. I hope everyone enjoyed my fish stew recipe. And I'll be back real soon with much more. Avita Zang.